Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a button that, when clicked, will prompt users to add a token to their MetaMask wallet. So, what I mean by that, you go to MetaMask, you will see all of your assets right here. So, I have all of these ones. So, you'll notice that the DAI token is not there. And if you go to my website, I have an example of this functionality that I'm about to show you um, how to implement. So basically, this button will add the Ethereum mainnet die to MetaMask. So if I click this, you can then add that token. So now, if I go back to MetaMask, the very bottom, I now have the die token. And if I owned some of those tokens, there would be, it would be, of course, be non-zero, like these ones. So just like most of coding, uh, it's pretty simple to do this. It's mainly just copy and paste. And I will put the resources in the description below. So if you want to copy and paste, you can either go to my website. It's the literal code for this. You can either go there or you can go to the blog version of this tutorial, which, as I just said, these will be in the description below. So, I'm not actually gonna code this all out because I feel like that takes too much time in a tutorial. I'm just gonna explain how the code works. So, you know, thinking of it as a step-by-step -step process, first step, get yourself a button. Just create a button, get it on the screen, make it look like this. Then, step two, put a click handler on that button. So, on click, it, it might be a little bit different depending on which, which front end framework you're using. Um, this is how it works in React or Next.js. So, you put a function in there. Here's the function. And then, this is the third and final step. You copy and paste the logic for adding a token to a wallet in there. And um, you really don't need to know how it works. Like, like just know that it does work. Uh, but I'll explain a few confusing things. So I think it's important to know how, know what this is. So pretty much anytime you're using an injected wallet like MetaMask, I think Coinbase also has an injected wallet, pretty much like a browser wallet. Basically, anytime you use that, in the window object, there will be an Ethereum object injected in anytime you have like MetaMask or another injected wallet. And then using that Ethereum API, API client, you can perform certain methods. So. The one that we are performing is wallet underscore watch asset. And then pretty much you just provide all the information here. So I think right now the only type available is ERC20, but I might actually be wrong about that. And then for options, this is the token address and the token symbol, token decimals and the image. So that's the gist of it. Uh, I did have some additional notes, which are not at the top of my mind. So I explained the Ethereum object. This is important. So make sure the correct network is used. So for example, on my website right here, this is Ethereum mainnet DAI. So this address is for DAI on Ethereum mainnet. But if you want to add RinkB testnet DAI, then you need to make sure that you're using that token address for Ethereum testnet. And you also, this is up to the developers, but you need some way to make sure that the user is on that network. So if I was on RinkB right now and I click this, it would still add the mainnet die to MetaMask on the RinkB network. So just be aware of that. Um, be aware of what network you're on. 
and so another confusing thing is what is decimals so see here decimals you really don't need to understand what that is um if you want to understand it feel free to read my little blurb here it basically has to do with how the erc20 contract works and the important thing though the important thing to know is how to find that so pretty much go to a block explorer find the token you want like die stablecoin and then you'll see the number of decimals right there and that's all you just take that number and you put it in and then you got an image and you can use like an external image you can use a local image in your project i'm using an external one and yeah that's pretty pretty simple but yeah super simple tutorial if you have any questions uh join the discord server and we have community in there that is always willing to help and if this did help you out feel free to like and subscribe and i will see you next time